An important task of working with React includes picking the right libraries to speed up the entire coding process. React is a UI library and therefore heavily depends on external libraries in many aspects. So here are 8 libraries you must know in React. Number 1 would be React Spring. This is a go-to library for animation in React. It has a huge number of users downloading this library weekly for their projects and that showcases its reliability. It provides very natural fluid animations and elevates the UI and interactivity of your website. And the best part is it's really easy to integrate and use. Now note that Framer Motion is also a great library to use for animation but React Spring has a greater advantage upon comparing the unpacked size of both libraries. Number 2 would be React Query. React Query is a data management library. It's popular for its ability to handle caching, background updates, and stale data out of the box with zero configuration. It simplifies the process a lot since there's no global state to manage, reducers, normalization systems, or heavy configurations to understand, and it comes wired up with dedicated dev tools, infinite loading APIs, and first class mutation tools that make updating your data really simple. Number 3 would be DND Kit. This is a lightweight React library for building drag and drop feature. Another library named React Beautiful DND is also popular but it's currently not being maintained anymore so DND Kit is a great popular alternative. It has over 600,000 downloads weekly as well. You can use its hooks to turn your components into draggable elements and droppable areas with just a few lines of code. It also has built-in customizable sensors for pointer, mouse, touch, and keyboard input. And you can also create your own custom sensors. It also supports a wide range of use cases such as lists, grid, multiple containers, and more. In number 4, there's React Joyride. This library allows you to create guided tours for your website. It basically allows you to showcase your website to new users or explain functionality of new features. It is a popular library and has around 200,000 weekly downloads. So check it out, it's definitely a cool feature to add in your React app. In number 5, we have React Table. This is an amazing library when it comes to building powerful tables. This library is headless by design, which means 100% control down to the very smallest HTML tag, component, class, and style. It has over 1 million weekly downloads and is very popular because it's built to materialize, filter, sort, group, aggregate, paginate, and display massive datasets using a very small API surface. In number 6, we have React Calendar. With over 400,000 weekly downloads and constant improvements, this library is amazing for integrating calendars in your React app. This library allows you to pick days, months, years, or even decades, supports range selection, and also supports virtually any language. It indeed provides a very efficient way to integrate calendars rather than having to build one on your own. In number 7, there's ReCharts. The main purpose of this library is to help you to write charts in React applications without any pain. It's built on top of SVG elements and is extremely powerful because you can customize your chart by tweaking component props and passing in custom components. Components. It has over 1 million weekly downloads as well and is very popular in the React ecosystem. At last, in number 8, there's React Hook Form. This is a very popular library with over 3 million plus weekly downloads and it specializes in creating performant, flexible, and extensible forms with easy to use validation. It is a super light library without any dependencies and great for performance since it minimizes the number of re renders, minimizes validate computation, and allows faster mounting. Also, it's constantly being improved and maintained as well. So those were 8 React libraries you must know as a React developer to make your library hunting process easier while developing websites. There are more libraries, one of them being Redux Toolkit, which is probably the most popular one, but I'm assuming every React developer already knows about it, so I didn't mention it in this video. Anyway, that's all for the video, if you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.